Hello and welcome to this unit ICT. In this series, we are dealing with the second part of the ICT syllabus, which is around internet, intranet, etc. So by the end of this video, you will gain an understanding of the functioning of the internet. You will also understand some of the common protocols that are used, the rules that are used to make sure that internet is functioning correctly. So let's get started. Now, first, I like to talk a little bit about the history of internet. So how internet started? Internet was nothing but result of another experiment, right, which was called the Advanced Research Project Agency Network. And uh, this was a project, a research project undertaken by the Department of Defense of United States of America. And they were trying to see how if let's say there's a nuclear attack, how will the communication not break? That means how will networks, uh, you know, still stay connected? And that's how your internet was born. Now, two guys which were really are known as the co-founders of internet. One is who is known as the father of internet is Wint Surf. In case a question comes as to who are the founding fathers. And the second is Robert E. Khan. So these are the two guys who founded the internet and this was founded first. It came online in 1969. Later on, you know, in the 70s, people started calling it as internet. Earlier, it was uh, named differently. And what is internet is that it is the network of networks, meaning it is fully distributed. Nobody owns the internet, right? Or in fact, all of us own the internet. And that's really the basic of internet it's open and it's really the network of networks where thousands of networks are connected and millions and billions of devices are connected on the internet all right now how does the internet really work right so i would like you to imagine how our indian postal service works so ultimately what happens that you want to send a message to somebody else and the message really is the physical, it could be let's say physical goods, right? It could be paper and those tangible, those physical goods are taken from one place to another and, you know, posted on a certain address, right? Now, in the, in, on the internet, what gets posted, right? Or what gets shipped is data, isn't it, right? So what you're shipping here is not really the physical goods that you're shipping on the internet, but what you're shipping is you ship the bits because computer, like I said in the previous video, only understands zero or a one. That means you only understands on or a off. So what literally happens here is that uh, you are sort of uh, sending, you are sending these bits, right? Instead of the physical place. So for example, let's say, you have these computers on the network and let's say they are all interconnected with each other right it could be this it, so these are all interconnected uh, networks right on the internet and how your transfer is happening is that it will not take one path but it can take multiple paths right depending on the traffic congestion etc so we'll explain that but all of this right what the transfer is really happening is nothing but the transfer of the bits that's happening here. So this is your basics. Now, uh, you must have also heard terms like bandwidth, right? That means from one computer to another computer, right? The, the maximum transmission capacity of your device, right? How much information you can send per unit of time, right? Or it could be, let's say, bandwidth is nothing but your number of bits per time. Like how you say three Mbps, uh, you know, 20 kbps etc these are nothing but the speed right and latency is nothing but the time it takes for one bit to travel from this place to another place now now when it uh, travels right how physically these things are getting transferred right so uh, there are three ways you know how this information or these bits travel one way of course is through these wires right so you must have uh, seen the ethernet right normally we see in our homes in offices etc this is your uh, wire the other thing is it could be a cable right cable and uh, third could be your uh, wi-fi now what's happening is wi-fi stands for wireless fidelity so ultimately what it does is these are nothing but radio signals you know through which uh, the information is getting uh, transferred 
cable is nothing but this is really light so light is traveling here so what we are trying to do is there you must have heard of fiber optic cables fiber optic cables are nothing but yeah, it's like a thread of glass you know which is engineered to reflect light because light travels very fast so this is one way of travel a radio wave is another way of travel this is of course your electricity right so these are the three ways how your information you know really travels from one place to another now the benefit of wi-fi could be that you don't need a wire so there is no risk if the wire gets cut but only problem is that radio signals last only to a certain place right to a certain area uh, you cannot have a wi-fi from let's say the radio uh, you know in bangalore and the same can be played in some other country right similarly wi-fi is for shorter distances now this cable right which is nothing but your fiber optic glass now this is very fast right because nothing is faster than light only problem is it's expensive and uh, wires are of course your ethernet but there is signal loss here as well so this is really how this is the data layer as to how in the physical world you know, the bits are getting transferred from one place to another now what are protocols now if when we talk about when you talk about traffic right when you go from one place to another right similarly when uh, envelope is shipped right from one place to another there are certain rules right and protocols therefore are nothing but your well-known set of rules for communication so what happens is uh, on the internet on the internet every single device that you have right has a unique address like how you have a unique address so for example if let's say i were to send you a packet right a packet or a physical you know let's say a particular one good right so if i have to send a letter or some uh, gift right from one person or another i may uh, not need exactly you know uh, the person's name etc but it could be on a certain address i can ship right that means from one place to another i can ship similarly on the internet also if you need to send certain information what you need is address so you must have heard you know internet addresses like you must have seen like let's say today it is ipv4 so you have really in four parts your address so let's say your address could be 121 you know 0.32 let's say point 41.08 right so this is a type of address so this is really your address similar this is nothing but uh, this is it could represent your it could represent your country right or your uh, overall uh, network right now this one also could be the region right in that country in when which region what is your network right and this could be again your uh, sub network and this would be the device now this is very simple see it's like if i'm saying let's say my address is whatever k21 right randomly i'm just saying right and uh, 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 right so so this is nothing but how you put addresses right so let's say you are in india right so this is india this is let's say bangalore right and this is let's say indranagar right and this is let's say whatever 100 feet road let's say a21 uh, 100 feet road for example now similarly what you have is you have the country you have then the uh, you know the state or the city and then you have your particular region right and then you have your specific address so from general to specific similarly this is how the address of every device on the internet that means every single device on the internet has a particular address right so how it works is that when let's say an information right from one computer to another right has to travel right when these things have to travel right let's say this has to travel from here this has to travel from here this has to travel from here so this is your internet right so how it travels is that uh, information gets traveled on you know like packets packets of information right so let's say you have uh, these uh, different packets of information so this packet will have nothing but the bits now and how the bits travel is that every single packet right every single uh, packet that you have will have a to address and will have a from address meaning from which device it is coming and to which device it needs to go so it will have both the addresses and this is nothing but your internet protocol your ip address is nothing but this this is your ip address right how you have a particular unique address right uh, now also what you would know is that 
uh, normally we would not know address so for example if i want to send something from my computer to let's say your computer over the internet right i don't really know uh, how do i send it right that means uh, i don't really know to whom i send it so there is something known as domain name system so domain name system meaning there are domain servers who will have this information so for example when i type a particular name let's say i want to send you an email right uh, so let's say i say ashish at the rate gmail.com right to i want to send to xyz you know at the rate uh, gmail.com so what really happens is that when this information is going from here to here uh, my computer uh, will ask the domain server and the domain server will say okay for this unique uh, uh, address right this would be the device so then it will go and ask for those uh, exact address so there could be multiple uh, you know domain servers of course because there are billions and billions of devices right so what this do is they also share some responsibility there is a hierarchy right so sometimes you will see like uh, things like dot org right it could be dot net right it could be dot com right uh, so when you're uh, typing in your browser right uh, saying that you want to go to www dot uh, let's say step me up dot in right so how would it identify it would not know what is the exact address but what happens is that when it will ask these domain servers they will be able to give the exact address and they'll be able to direct it to the uh, right person okay so this is your domain name system and your uh, uh, internet protocol and your ip address uh, now just one thing to note is that uh, today we are in the ipv4 generation meaning the version of these internet addressing is like here you have 8 bits right 8 bits 8 bits that means today it is 32 bit long but we are also trying to move to uh, you know ipv6 which is nothing but uh, 128 bits uh, all right so what is uh, now routing right what is routing what is uh, really your tcp protocol so like i said if information has to travel so for example let's say from uh, this device to another device right internet does not really take uh, you know that same route meaning there are multiple routes uh, to reach this place so basically what we are saying is that when information goes from device one right to device two over internet right uh, how information travels is that it travels in the form of packets right but of course uh, you know there are limitations how if let's say you want to transfer all your furniture from one place to another right what you may do is you may want to break down your furniture into different different things so it could be let's say your big bed right which needs to uh, transfer your king size bed from one place to another so what you may want to do is you may want to put it separately into like four or five pieces right uh, and then that at the same place it reaches and then you can reassemble and put it same way so when on the internet something goes so for example let's say if i want to send this video right now this video may be uh, you know quite big right it may be uh, so many mbs and there are limitations of internet that means it will not take this whole like there's no a dedicated line where from one device to another it will go what it will do is that video it can divide it it has billions of bits so what it does is the internet divides all of these information right into these different packets right and ultimately what will happen is that the information which is going from one place to another it gets uh, through these packets and all these packets may take different routes some may take here now how does it decide uh, basis on the internet protocol that means it will choose really your fastest right fastest way fastest meaning the cheapest right so in terms of time it will make sure that if there is congestion on a particular network it can change its paths and take another path right and that's how it is also fault tolerant also so it can take these multiple paths right not necessarily a dedicated path and that is how your routing happens in fact you must have heard this term as routers right so what are routers routers are not nothing but some special computers right on the way and they really uh, act like you know your traffic uh, police right and they will say okay the traffic the uh, 
packets should keep flowing right and depending on wherever there is congestion so there is there is congestion on this one let's say then it can take another route right or it can take another route so depending on the congestion situations it will take different routes and they may all reach the packets at a uh, different time so for example let's say in this case i send this video from my computer to your computer it may not take one path it may take multiple uh, different paths you know the multiple packets because my video may be broken down into so many packets and those packets could travel uh, different paths and ultimately let's say they reached from uh, let's say device one to device two so but what happened is now when these packets arrived right when these packets arrived they may not be in the right order right meaning let's say the end of the video arrived first right the first part of the uh, video arrived in the middle somewhere so there is another protocol known as the tcp protocol right and what tcp does is that the role of tcp is to make sure right it's called transmission control protocol so what it will do is that it will have like a checklist and it will do a tick and a cross right and a tick and a cross meaning according to this protocol it will make sure that all the parts of that video have arrived one second they are all in order if let's say one part is not has not arrived right so it can send the signal back and it will make sure that the packet is again uh, travels from device one to device two and and then finally once you have all the packets you know then only it will give a go ahead and then that video can get uh, you know downloaded will come here so this is a transmission control protocol which is sort of it acts like a guarantee uh, of sending and receiving of these packets right sending in so imagine it's like that manager right who is uh, doing the checklist the guy who is doing the checklist and making sure okay all the uh, goods have arrived on time and in good order and then gives a uh, go ahead so so i hope that by now you have a very very good understanding of the internet functioning of internet we also learned these different protocols like internet protocol transmission control protocol right we also uh, understood things like domain name system etc uh, so thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video on uh, internet and emails.